snakes safe and healthy children now we come to the next chapter that is chemical effects of electric current before we go through with the topic chemical effects of electric current let us understand what do you understand by good conductors and bad conductors or poor conductors so the first term we come over here is good conductors the meaning of good conductors are materials which allow materials which allow electric current electric current to pass through them are known as good conductors and a common example for good conductors are metals generally all metals an example can be iron and many more symbol fe example can be aluminium al example can be copper cu and so on so we come over here the first term for this chapter before you know what is the meaning of chemical effects of electric current you should know what you understand by good conductors and bad conductors materials which allow electric current to pass through them they are known as good conductors and when i go to the next term that is bad conductors the meaning of bad conductors is materials which do not allow just add the word materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them they are known as bad conductors children i am not using the word conductors and insulators for this and why i am not using the word conductors and insulator that i will teach you further when i will teach you do liquids conduct electricity or not why i cannot use that word that on that topic i will rectify over there so here i have to use for this chapter you cannot use conductors and insulators so put it in the mind why that i'll teach you with the next topic that why liquids conduct and uh, conducts electricity or do liquids conduct electricity or not so here we come bad conductors it's just so exactly opposite over here materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them they are known as bad conductors you can go with an example rubber plastic etc so these are the common example for bad conductors next topic children here we comes that do liquids conduct electricity or not so here basically for the solid part we know that metals metals conduct electricity only when i speak for the solid here i identified that in metal in solids metals are the substances which conduct electricity so here the next topic comes that do liquids conduct electricity the topic for this do liquids conduct electricity your answer has to be yes yes liquids do conduct electricity how do liquid conduct electricity we have one and only term liquids conduct electricity due to the presence of ions what are ions how many type of ions are there that we will continue in our next topic just for this the topic do liquids conduct electricity your answer has to be yes how do liquids conduct electricity due to the presence of ions what do you understand by ions how many types of ions are this this i will continue in the next class with this i am sending you certain new terms children which you have to write in your classwork copy if any doubt up to here you can ask me to come to square thank you and have a nice day